I'm here to speak with you about a 6F35 torque converter that has come out when it was in shipping and it is not fully indexed into the transmission itself. So sometimes whenever we ship these, um, they do provide the torque converter straps and they are bolted down, but this was an actual claim where these straps had slipped and were not bolted down completely. So that made the torque converter slide forward, which also can be a problem on installation. So what we were saying is uh, there are shops that are trying to install the torque converter back into the case and it has kind of like a blockage. So it won't fully go back in and then we are having repeat claims showing that people cannot get it back into the index correct spot. So this is just going to be an example of a clutch inside of the torque converter where the input shaft is splined into the center and whenever this falls down the input shaft is hitting on the side and it is not going through the center completely so that is why it will not go fully back and index correctly the input shaft is hitting the side and not going through the center I can show you we did make some tools to screw onto the side and you do have to install the torque converter on its back and that way that way it'll be center and it can go all the way down and then we won't have any more of these sliding issues with it hitting gravity is going to pull it completely down and i can show you that here hi now that we have this flipped over on its back we can install the torque converter with the help of gravity that way we're not constantly fighting it and we can get the input shaft further into the torque converter indexed correctly here in production, we did make a tool. That way you're not constantly trying to stick your hands in the bell housing and fight this thing back and forth once the clutch has fallen. Um, that way we just install it right onto the splines. It is threaded on here and then that way we have a better grip. So we just slam it right in and then you check and you can make sure that it is fully in by turning and then we can rock back and forth. And then once we know that it is fully indexed in, we can pull these right off. Um, you can install these back on, make sure that they are fully tight. We can install our wrench here to hold one of the torque converter studs, or you can install your own pull down. That way, when we flip this back over and get it back onto the jack, the torque converter has not fallen out by the time we are ready for install. It is very important to make sure that it is fully indexed, of course, by sticking our hand into the bell housing and making sure that we can feel it by touching the pump. Um, now you are perfectly ready for install of the 6F35.